Now, the House of Representatives has called on the federal government to reverse the recent pump price hike and take immediate steps to stabilize petrol and cooking gas prices. The House also called on the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited NNPCL, Ministry of Petroleum Resources and other relevant agencies to expedite the repair and maintenance of domestic refineries and increase local refining capacity. These resolutions follow the adoption of an urgent motion sponsored by the House Minority Leader Honorable Kingsley Chinda and 110 members. While raising the motion on behalf of the 110 sponsors, the Deputy Minority Leader Honorable Ali Madaki expressed worries that the escalating fuel and gas prices are impacting on the cost of transportation, food, essential goods, and health care. Also worried that a less urgent and pragmatic step are taken to control the rising cost of petrol and cooking gas, the nation will go into economic crisis, leading into negative outcomes like increased crime rate and mortality. Now, contributing to the debate, members expressed concerns on the hardships being faced by the masses as some suggested that the organ Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC policy, should be reviewed. I want us to pressurize on the government because not all countries that produce uh, petroleum are in OPEC. We need to review our OPEC uh, policy. We mustn't be in OPEC because the only thing that will solve this problem of uh, uh, petroleum increase is to sell, to use what we have to solve our problem. Our concern should be the welfare of Nigerians, which I believe is not only in my constituency that the masses or the poor or the people are suffering. I believe most of the constituencies people are suffering because of this increase. Let me also use the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to borrow a word of our president. When he spoke then, he said, let the government allow the poor to breed. Today, we are not only calling for government to allow the poor to breed, we are calling of government not to remove the cylinder that the poor are already living under oxygen. One, does the regulation allow the price of petroleum product to be different in Lagos, in Abuja, in Jos, in Casina, in Gombe? If the regulation allow that, why uh, is the law, PIA bill that is being passed, is now an act? Is it being respected by the public office holders appointed by this government to ensure decorum in that sector? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.